Greetings everyone, and Grade here with another H Powers 4 replay. Spawn on the bottom right side as the Magenta French, we have PTA. Spawn on the top left side as the English, we have a 3D printed cat. Oh wait, just 3D cat. Clearly it was 3D printed, right? Scout moving down south. Does see a bit of the town center arrow fire. Let's see now, English versus French, time old enemies. Like the Englishmen and the Scots. The Frenchmen and the Scots. And the Japanese and the Scots. The Scots and other Scots. Damn those Scots. They're in Scotland. We do have the Abbey Kings being employed on the field. A little bit of variation. Other things I'd like to see in Feudal Age. We're going to perhaps see potentially Longbowmen Men at Arms. Pretty common units, but they don't both pose a massive threat to Royal Knights. Longbowmen are always usually pretty common, but likely we're going to see Spearmen and Longbowmen against the potential Royal Knights of his opponent. And likely in turn, we'll see Archers. And we do got the stone being fucked up early, so looks like the French is eyeing for our second town center. So is the English. We got one Royal Knight on the field, and the King himself. Overall, the King is inferior to the Royal Knight. Royal Knight does have 190 health, 3-3 three, three armor, 19 attack, plus the plus 3 from the charge attack there. You can see here, and the King only has 16 damage, 2-2 two, two armor, both of those have increased amount of health. We do now have the Scout trying to get some damage on in. The Scout could try to poke away. Oh, there we go. You can see him trying to body block that Knight, or... Yeah, he does probably block the knight away from the king. Now we've got the health regen activating. Does get the charge attack going. The scout needs to fall back and eat that lance for his king. And there's just a scout right there, not another royal knight. There's only one royal knight to pull out on the field, as well as the king. Some more composition. Now the, sc the scout's getting healed up. Obey you. It does eat a uh, lance there as well. That's a pretty good girlfriend for the king now, is it? Does get a good strike there. He's trying to focus on the scout. Scout falls back. Good micro there. Now the king and the knight are going to be fighting each other, but the knight is going to fall back. We're seeing a bit too much damage there. Does receive some arrow fire. Does get the town center garrison. King ate a lot of arrows there. King sound those 16 health. And the knight does do 19 damage. And the charge attack finishes him off. I do have a second town center deployed out on the field for both players. Or being employed out, I should say, as well. The knight's going to stand there menacingly. And the scout lost her boyfriend. We now have a uh, barracks going up. He's probably going to eye for some spearmen. We've got survival techniques now deployed out for the... Not sure which player it was. Definitely the French, since the English has his on its way. we got Wheelbarrow also for the French as well. And Exotic Doggo does go down there. Another Exotic Doggo coming forward. we got the Knights. Oh, that... These Wolves could kill that Knight. And up here we do have a spearman. We do have five, soon to be six royal knights on the field. We got a handful of spearmen, longbowmen. So it's transition to more of a traditional loadout. Getting some quick damage there onto that knight. And there goes that knight. Looks like he is cleaned up most of those deer. The many villagers there are trying to collect deer. They want to transition to the berries next, since if he does not have enough wood for farms. There's 15 villagers in this area, so not enough room for everybody in case if those knights come back. And now we do have Chivalry being researched by the French. Maybe it's not these two knights are having plenty of health at the moment. This knight's severely damaged, so it's a good idea to get Chivalry to heal him up. Knights are expensive, they cost 100 gold, so Chivalry could potentially save him 100 gold right there, as well as 100 food, so getting this research costs 300. As long as it gets tops off the health of, of like 3 knights, it's definitely paid for itself. Got a line of palisade walls going up. 
Nice try and charge him forward. We'll find a good spear brace there, but the Palisade Bowl will spend him with additional pokes. And thanks to his own Palisade Bowl there, he didn't actually get the kill. And now surely there, that thing can get healed up all the way. Nice to advance forward, get some good damage there, and receive a lot of fire from the town center. Oh, and save him as well. The chivalry will give him quite a bit of health benefits now. Good number of these raw. He did not save that one for health benefits. It took a long time for these, those guys to heal up, but alive is better than dead, that's for sure. I try and go for a line of palisade walls there. He expects to get a quick stab and does not get those ghosts in time. He was trying to trap them. And he is just trying to fall back. Does keep an error fire on the wounded one, but he will skip. Just don't go back in, you're gonna be dead. They try and charge back in. Does peel back the wounded one. And both of them need to fall back now. And now the Royal Institute not being researched or being pulled on a few. Looks like we do have Castle Witch going on up. Good damage on these roll nice. They didn't fall back, get healed up. And Spearman are still in pursuit. He's looking at English player's resource at the moment. He is very, very far away from getting his castle wage up and going. He will lose one of this roll nice, will lose a scout as well. These forces just need to stay back, they need a lot of health regen. Archers and Spearmen advancing on forward. These knights still need a lot of health. He only has seven knights on the field. He's going for his knight, veteran knight, royal knight research. He does have a bit of resource to play around with to get out some more archers. Going for royal bloodlines. Not archers, uh, more knights. This will greatly increase the max health of these royal knights. He needs to get out more stables though, and more resources to get out more royal knights. Just take a bit of time for these guys to heal up. Right now, Blue has a massive arm to pull out a few compared to his opponent. Granted, he does not realize that. Blue's going for Siege Engineers. Let's find a good follow on these villagers. No arrow slips here means they won't be able to... One of them can outrange the tower. Good volley there on those arrow, on those uh, arches as well. Once it does allow them to research the technology is cheaper, not necessarily faster. Villagers maybe are trying to get inside the town center now. Does get its arrows firing, very nice. Up here, the Royal Knights are pushing forward, intercepting the reinforcements, very, very nice. Good little pick there. Machida has half the army than his uh, opponent, though. Getting out more archers, more Royal Knights. Two batterings now pulled on the field for the English player. The army valley, however, is very similar because Royal Knights are expensive. Though right now there's a lot of spearmen here, and the longbones are in a pretty good mass so they can get some great damage. Right now longbones do 7 damage. Royal Knights have 5 pierce armor. They do have their Royal Bloodlines research, giving them up to 310 health. They can withstand a beating, but they can also give a beating. Batarangs have been ward away. His archer's getting some good hits there onto these hard spearmen. Does load up his uh, spear inside that fighting ram. He's going to try to crack it open and get some nice, delicious insides. Mill's been set ablaze. Can't mill berries into a thin taste if it's on fire. It's going to be roasted nuts. Royal Knights could have charged forward a little bit. Perhaps take out that fighting ram. Let's take out the Phantom Horde to deal some damage there. Royal Knights having trouble engaging. Gets some hits there on those longbowmen. And right now, these knights are super high quality with their extra health they have. One was trying to run forward to get these archers, having a bit of trouble. And the Royal Knights will breach on through. 
takes out those spearmen there. Now these long bowmen will be next. He needs to pull out more spearmen. But even right now, you don't age spearmen will have severe trouble versus these veteran royal knights with their extra amount of health. As they're starting to fall back, they can use trivially to get them some health regen. Now I've got a monster going up. He's on to claim some relics. Zogdago gains some fights there, and now it's going for the King's Palace. He does already have this to make him have a third town center against all some extra villagers. Magenta right now has more villagers than his opponent. They have a similar kill counts. Wait, one, two, one, two. Looks like the English player simply skimped out on producing villagers. Royal Knight's getting some much uh, really good returns for the health regen. And now he's going to try torching down this say gate. He's going to need a lot of spearmen to hold him back. There's only 12 spearmen here, and there's 14 Royal Knights. With the improved health of the Royal Knights, that's simply just not enough spearmen to hold him back. Especially being uh, lower technology. That's going to all the arrows there. He needs to get the veteran or yeah, veteran spearmen research. Another relic picked or first relic picked on up. He has not resources hardened spearman research or veterans of spearman research. More spearmen is a good idea though. And Palisade Gate has been opened up, but doesn't reach on forward. Or immediately try to rebuild it. Let's get the Palisade Wall rebuilt. Now, do you have the hard veteran spearman research? Will be very important to deal with those Royal Knights. Royal Knights are trying to advance back in. There's 14 here. There's 18 spearmen, but the sport of the longbow that may be enough to hold them back. Got this archer force here in this region. The Jedi has picked up another relic. And now do you have the enlist incentives? Have another <clears throat> outpost going on up. And this scout could go down. Nope, does not go down. Do we have a keep somewhere for Magenta? Yep, and there's a keep going up for Magenta now. Six typing captured on up. Very nice. Scout trying to be pursued. Let's get that scout there. Let's get a good volley there on these knights. And second side has been captured enough. We've got these relics. Looks like this monk is going to pick up that relic. This one is untouched. And this one should be safe for Blue to keep secure. We got 20 Royal Knights here. 15 Spearmen. That's probably not enough, but does get some good damage there with the Long Bowman. They run up to 10 damage, and Spearman finds a massive flank there. This will be a big loss for the French. He may claim himself a pair of Spearmen there. Yep, we got a pair of Spearmen. Or he got a pair of Spearmen. What shall each do? Let's do some spice. See, come first, Voldrive. 
Got these knights falling on back. These main arms push them way forward. We got the archers eyeing for a big volley here. Does get some big damage onto those main arms. Knights are charging forward. We got a good number of archers in this region. Before in the one going to do have 10 damage. The war knights only have six armors and they have four damage per arrow. Right now we do have the Gambeson's research, giving him in Arbiter's increased damage. He will spot this uh, monk there. Monk will be sliced down. One more round could be claimed by Magenta. Archers, we're seeing a bit of fire there. We do have some mana arms here. We do not see an armor clad. We do have armor clad on the field queue now. It's going for hack damage now. Relic still on his way back. He could use. No, the first virtual roll is still on cooldown. Monster is on the front line, so could it go down himself? So, Archers seem to the fire there. Roll Knights have found a, created the breach, trying to get some good damage. Spearman here to the fence. Keep here, getting some good damage onto these forces. Now got crossbow stirrups there, increasing attack speed of Arbor Fears. Royal Knights will not get a charge right there, not being charged in there. But it looks like most of those spearmen have gone on. Some of the Royal Knights have gone down as well. Man arms are now up to seven pierce armor, so these archers that do nine or eight damage to the moment will only do one damage each. Monk does go down, try to pick up that last relic over there. Loons looks eyeing for another attempt for this relic. Nope, those are spearmen. And now you have the red tiles not being pulled on the field. Good hit right next to these forces. He can pass from those to get a garrison if he needs to. It'll be a powerful animal with this nearby keep here. It's going to be very hard to break into this area. These villagers can get inside this. Uh, the red tiles there get a bunch of arbalists firing. This horse simply cannot be in this region. With Imperial Rage research can see the elite research going. He's going to break through that wall now. Trying to pursue some of these villagers there. The English army is falling on back. He's going to need more spearmen to deal with these Royal Knights. Soon they're going to be elite Royal Knights. Let's get a spear break there. He's up one of those Royal Knights, and there's now the elite Royal Knight. Now it's up to 394 health, which is significant. Got some uh, Arbor Tears now mixed on in, or crossbows, I mean. Spearman trying to hold the line. He needs his arm back over here, but got this other force advancing on forward. His army is just rotating around, got to keep here and following about the English. He needs to get this wall patched on up. We've got a big wave of towers there for some reason. Towers do not get the Arbor in placement. Arbor Tears not getting hit. He can be his passive and greatly increase the ranged armor. Let's get inside the keep there, falling him back. He may need to get out the Berkshire Castle for defense at current rate. He has no food for that. Does get a spear brace. And now the Royal Knights are pushing away forward. He's a great damage. Spearman getting funneled into a pretty nice choke point there. He's having trouble facing him forward, but multiple Royal Knights have gone down. And these archers are falling on back. But you got these Royal Knights now charging these forces here. Getting some good damage onto them. He does have a number of these villagers going down. Magenta has killed 37 villagers. Bonnet only has killed two. These Royal Knights are moving around. We'll find these arch uh, villagers a little bit alone. We'll go ahead and get them overwhelmed. He actually will save this one villager. Just collecting up the last bit of gold there. 
Long Golden Beam Plant Field gets a good hit on these Arbalists. Arbaliteers do have currently 5 tower range that get improved range one when the passives now deployed on the field. But still be out range. Let's pull out some palings there. But I think he's facing the wrong direction. And now the French players are in line to get out some trade research. Spearman gets hits there onto these World Knights. He's trying to get trade up sooner rather than later so he can maintain World Knight production. Arvo Tears gets good damage on in as well. Keep them constantly firing away. Doesn't have any additional defensive placements at the moment. Crossbow's getting some good work done. He does take out the majority of these World Knights. Royal Knights being streamed in one at a time, slowly overwhelming this force. Inch players have nowhere near of getting up to the next age. He's also have a good number of spearmen of crossbows and long bowmen all in the build queue, just a matter of getting them actually built. They may not have enough production structures at the moment. Oil and oil being researched as well. Does get the spring ball there, and now the secret site victory counting down in favor of the French. Getting those secret sites also give them some good gold generation. Right now, the French player has somehow 2,000 each resource being collected, while his opponent only has half that. I suppose he does have all his economic text, while the English player has basically no economic text at the moment. And as well, he has uh, nearly too many villagers, far too many villagers. He's not getting out of wave of traders. Baron's not being put on the field, does have this Royal Knight on the back line as well. Keep now seeing some fire. And Blue does back out the game now. This is Adam Grid saying, thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.